So in this video, I'll be teaching you how to calculate the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons of an element in the periodic table. All right. Now the first thing to note is this: there's something called a nuclide symbol. Let's look at something called a nuclide symbol. Now here's the first thing to note: a nuclide symbol. What's a nuclide symbol? By definition, a nuclide symbol is simply the symbol of an element that shows its atomic number and its mass number. All right. So let's say we are given an element x. Let's say we are given an element x. Um, x is an element, and the element x has an atomic number. Let's say z. Let's call z the atomic number of the element x. And let's call A to be the mass number. Let's call A to be the mass number or the atomic mass. So we call it the mass number or the atomic mass of the element Z. Now, if I'm to express this in nuclide symbol notation, it will be this. I would have this. So I would have this. So this is my element X. The atomic number Z will be written by the bottom left while the mass number or atomic mass will be written by the top left so what i have here is what is called a nuclide symbol so basically this is a nuclide symbol of the element x having atomic number z and mass number or atomic mass a so we have this now that's the first thing to note the next thing to note is this note that z we said z is equal to is called the atomic number z atomic number is simply the number of protons all right so the number of protons in an atom of an element gives the atomic number also we said a is called the mass number or atomic mass so a which is the atomic mass or let me call this a mass number instead so a which is the mass number is simply equal to the number of we'll have this as protons plus neutrons all right so note that the atomic mass is simply or the atomic number is simply number of protons in an atom of an element why the mass number is simply the sum of the number of protons and neutrons contained in an atom of that element all right so with this said we'll look at how to calculate the number of electrons protons and neutrons for a neutral atom and for ions in this video okay let's look at neutral atoms all right let's look at something called neutral atoms let's look at neutral atoms what's a neutral atom a neutral atom is simply an atom that does not have any electrical charge all right if i have something like this chlorine um 17 and 35 all right what i have here becomes a neutral atom why because there's no electrical charge attached to it what i have here is called a neutral charge if i should attach let's say a negative here at this point now observe that the atom chlorine here has a negative which is this one here this negative here so hence it's no longer a neutral atom all right so if i have this now this becomes a neutral atom due to the absence of any electrical charge whether plus or minus now with this said let's find the number of electrons protons and neutrons in this um species here now let's start with number of protons it's always easy to get the number of protons the number of protons is always easy to get so number of protons for this will be equal to number of protons is always equal to the atomic number which is what you have here so whatever you have here becomes the number of protons that gives you 17 that's all what about the number of neutrons of what about the number of neutrons let's get number of neutrons for this atom number of neutrons is equal to we said the mass number which is this this one here is equal to number of protons plus number of neutrons so you are saying that 35 is equal to let's call the number of protons p plus let's call the number of neutrons n 
So from here, we'd we'll get the value of n. How do we do that? We know that p, which is number of protons, was already given here as 17. So I'll simply substitute that value here becomes 17, number of protons plus neutrons. To get number of neutrons, I'll move this over here. So it means that n will be equal to 35 minus 17. And if I do 35 minus 17, I will get my answer as 18. So I have 18 here. So it means the number of neutrons is equal to 18. So I have 18 neutrons in this species. Now, finally, for this same atom here, let's get the number of electrons. Okay? Let's get the number of electrons. So how do we get the number of electrons? Now, for this, we'll have that the number of electrons would be equal to now note that, that for neutral atoms which are atoms without either a positive charge or a negative charge right for a neutral atom note that the number of protons will always be equal to the number of electrons all right so please note this number of protons will always be equal to number of electrons so since there's no charge here it means that the number of protons will be equal to number of electrons so number of electrons here becomes 17 and that's your answer so it's this simple okay let's take another example here let's take um carbon for instance carbon here having this as a nuclide symbol right i have carbon having this as the nuclide symbol we ask to find the number of protons the number of protons here the number of neutrons as well as the number of electrons. All right, so how do we get that for this species? Now, simple, the task is simple that the first thing we should notice that the atomic number here is six, this point here, here's my atomic number. And we said atomic number is simply number of protons. So hence, number of protons here is six, okay? Next up, we have the mass number here as 12. All right, so it means number of protons plus number of neutrons should be equal to 12. We already got the number of protons from this part here as 6. So it becomes 6 plus number of neutrons unknown. Let's call it n is equal to what there? 12. So how do we get n here? n will be equal to 12, right? So this 6 here comes over here, becomes negative 6. That becomes 12 minus 6, and that's equal to 6. So number of neutrons is also 6. Finally, to get the number of electrons, record that we said for a neutral atom such as this that has no positive or, neg or no negative sign that the number of protons is equal to number of electrons. So in this case, we, we have that number of protons is equal to number of electrons. Why? There is no negative or positive charge attached to this. So it means that I'll bring number of protons down here as my answer and that becomes 6. So in essence, this, this nuclear symbol here has 6 electrons, 6 protons, and 6 neutrons. Let's take a final example on this before we proceed to something else. One final example. So let's say we have, um, let's use this time, let's use magnesium. So magnesium, Mg, having this as the nuclear symbol. So we have this as the nuclear symbol for magnesium all right we have to find the number of electrons and number of protons so number of let's look for number of protons okay let's also get the number of neutrons and finally let's get the number of electrons here How do we solve this? All right, so our first tax here, let's, let me add an equal to, so equal to here, equal to here, and equal to here. Our first tax here is to remember that what you have here, nuclear symbol, what you have here is the atomic number. And we said atomic number is equal to number of protons. So number of protons here, let me call this P, is equal to 12. So number of protons is 12. Also, the atomic mass or the mass number M, let's call it M here the mass number here is 26 and we know that mass number let's call it m is equal to number of protons plus number of neutrons so m 
which here is 26. We have that 26 is equal to the number of protons. We already got this as 12 from the atomic number. So it becomes 12 plus number of neutrons is unknown. We'll call it N. To get N here, I'll have to move this one over here. That becomes 26 minus 12 is equal to N. Okay. 26 minus 12, of course, gives you 14. So 14 is equal to N. Therefore, the number of neutrons is 14. So this has 14 neutrons. Now, finally, number of electrons. Number of electrons, we said for a neutral atom like this, number of electrons is equal to number of protons. That becomes 12. So number of protons here becomes number of electrons. That's 12. All right, so this is how you find the number of electrons, number of protons, and number of neutrons for a neutral atom, okay? In the next class, we'll look at how to find the number of electrons, number of protons, and number of neutrons for ionic species. All right, so let me give you a task. What if I have something like this? Let's use a helium molecule. So I have helium here, a helium molecule that has this as the nuclide symbol. Please provide the number of protons, right? Number of protons for this. What's the answer to this? Also, find the number of neutrons for this. Also, finally, get the number of electrons for this, all right? So for this particular species, how many protons do you have? How many neutrons do you have? And also, how many electrons do you have? Leave your answer in the comments section, okay? So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button, okay? Please, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, right? So hit the like button, like this video, okay? Leave a comment. In the comment, tell us the number of protons, the number of neutrons, and the number of electrons you have in this helium species. And then finally, share this video to your friends so that they can also learn, all right? If you've not subscribed yet, please subscribe for more. In the next class, we'll look at how to find the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons for ionic species, all right? See you in the next class.